What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster here on the live stream uh, with an update video on this uh, beautiful evening here in California. About 6.44 p.m. Tuesday evening, December 28th, 2021 to date. Looking at the latest quake here on the Earthquake 3D Globe. Shows a 2.5 earthquake into the Puerto Rico area. Also some movement showing up on the Japan Seismograph Station over there on the bottom left. A little bit of movement uh, around the globe to talk about this evening. First off, we'll start off with the trimmer map here along the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, after a little quiet spell of movement, or I should say lack of movement, we were picking up a little bit more trimmer today. 17 epicenters of trimmer along the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Not a large uptick, but a little bit nonetheless. Looking at the earthquake activity into Northern California. If we can get over here real quick. <clears throat> there was some looking at this quake activity map here in the all all magnitudes shows uh, a couple twos some of this activity from uh, well it looks like it's from uh, earlier way earlier uh, 2.7s a couple of them and a 2.5 in the southern end of the Cascadia and there are uh, definitely subduction zone quakes here with the depths uh, depths of those earthquakes and so that could kind of explain the uh further activity we're seeing there with the trimmer movement down dip we're getting some uh, surface rupture uh, i don't know i think we're kind of at a locking point at the moment here along the cascadia it's going to be interesting to see if this um if and when we do get some uh, uh significant trimmer activity if it's going to uh, create some uh, larger surface quakes up here along the locked area, we we'll have to keep a very close eye on that. Into the central part, California region, some movement around the geyser activity, of course, down here south of Clear Lake, and some activity uh, around the uh, Calaveras Fault Zone, a couple small microquakes around the uh, San Leandro area. Uh, up here around the Antelope Valley, Looking at uh, a little bit of uptick, just a couple small microquakes, but uh, uptick nonetheless. Same for the Ridgecrest area. Garlock fault structure looks pretty quiet tonight. Uh, not a whole lot of movement on that shear fault system. And down south here, uh, just a couple sporadic quakes on the San Jacinto fault area. And uh, looks like another one around the Palomar Observatory down there in Southern California. And uh, yeah. Not a whole lot of movement taking place here along the west coast at the moment up into the pacific northwest once again around the seattle fault system this is one to watch up here white center washington 1.4 uh, somewhat deep into that area of washington and a little earthquake at the mount rainier area uh, 0.9 at 1.6 kilometers looking at the idaho area a little bit, a little bit of activity through the uh, montana stretching down into the idaho area in a linear type, well, little little line of earthquake activity here. Nothing significant. And some activity finally re being reported uh, by the USGS, it looks like, in the Yellowstone area. Uh, just uh, looks like uh, right around the Hebgen Lake Estates, Montana. At least uh, that's where they have it located at, according to the USGS. Uh, Utah, some movement around the Cedar, Utah area. New Mexico... Texas, Kansas areas, New Madrid zone, not showing a whole lot of movement. Uh, this is some older earthquake activity, including this one here uh, from this morning. This uh, 1.7 as well in South Carolina, no renewed movement along the East Coast. Puerto Rico area, of course, we've seen that latest quake on the globe, a 2.5 uh, up around the uh, uh, Puerto Rico area. But this one here, 3.2 into the Puerto Rico trench. Another 3.2, a little bit shallower, uh, but this 2.5 striking down here in the southeast region, 13 kilometers for quite a few of those earthquakes here in this region of Puerto Rico. Uh, down in the South America region, Ecuador, looks like they got a 4.6, 29.4 kilometers. The rest of the um, South America region looks pretty quiet. South Sandwich Trench as well is uh, absent of earthquake activity. Uh, one thing I've noticed today is a little bit of further movement up into the Alaska region. Uh, seen some uh, activity up there. 3.4 and then a little bit of further activity way up north here. Uh, 3.1. Uh, way up there. Shallow earthquake into northern Alaska. Also a lot of deeper movement taking place here. 79 kilometers for a, for a couple of those earthquakes here. 
into this major subduction zone. Lucian Trench here looks pretty quiet. Uh, not a whole lot of movement being picked up on the seismograph today. We did see one little earthquake over here, 4.3. Uh, in the Japan region, in the Japan Trench, down a dip here, 62.8 kilometers into the subduction zone here. Uh, other than that, there's not a whole lot of movement here on the entire western part of the Pacific Plate. Down south, Vanuatu area in Fiji, a little bit of activity kicking up uh, earlier and throughout the day, 576 kilometers for that 4.6, that occurring way earlier, uh, but since then not a whole lot of renewed activity. Some movement over here in the Indonesia area and also around the uh, Andaman Sea, 5.0 and uh, 4.7. This one's pretty deep here, 101, 101.5 on the kilometer depth. Afghanistan uh, getting in on some activity as well. Also a little bit of movement in the uh, Carlsberg Ridge area, mid-Indian mid Ridge. Seeing a couple uh, smaller earthquakes in the mid-4 range kicking off here uh, throughout the day today. Uh, Africa looks pretty quiet. Greenland, Iceland, all pretty quiet there on the USGS map. Let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone activity here real quick on, uh, yeah, there's some of that activity. It looks like the, what the USGS had reported on the earthquake map there showing up on the Maple Creek section over here on the northwest corner around the uh, Hebgen Lake Estates area. Other than that, the rest of the charts look pretty clear. No magma intrusion. No explosive eruption in the near future, it doesn't look like, which could be a good sign for humanity, right? Uh, what else we got here? We checked out the trimmer, a little bit of uptick there in the trimmer department. Um, the earthquakes up here in Canada, I don't think they've had anything renewed. In fact, it looks still like the same earthquake there from a couple days ago on the 20th, well, 28th, okay, 1.6. But overall, things pretty... Uh, Pretty quiet here along the western part here of Canada and the uh, Vancouver Island area. The Cascadia subduction zone looks uh, pretty quiet there on the map according to them as well. Let's check out the EMSC model real quick and see what we got uh, kicking up here on this map. Um, let's see, this is the... Uh, what else we got here? This is some older earthquake activity here from yesterday in the Gulf of California, no renewed earthquake activity there. Uh, a little bit of movement along the uh, Middle America Trench, it looks like. I don't know if the USGS was showing any of this activity. Let's kick it up here. Uh, nope. Look at that. Some of that's missing there because it should go back for this date uh, that the EMSC, EMSC is showing. Some of the activity, 4.5, that should have been reported. Uh, 4.3 should have been on that map too. And a four pointer. So it looks like some of that activity there, of course, you know, it's no surprise, USGS absent, nothing, zip zero. Getting more and more disappointed with them, but it is what it is. I will also just have to include the activity here in the uh, EMSC, csem.org website when it comes to reporting earthquake activity. Uh, let's see here if there's anything new. Looks like that New Zealand 4.5. Let's see that earthquake real quick here. 4.5 in the Cook Strait, New Zealand, 10 hours ago. And uh, let's see, is the USGS showing that? I believe they are. I believe that's that earthquake right down in there. New Zealand area. Yes, they are actually showing it. A couple earthquakes there striking uh, earlier today. A double tap 4.5 it looks like uh, what else we got here 4.7 let's see mid Indian well yeah I think that's uh, I think that's about it there was a 4.1 way up there in the southern Quebec Canada region uh, earlier this evening too 10 kilometers for that earthquake I don't believe I seen that show up on the Earthquakes Canada, but uh, let's see, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Let's go ahead and see what they uh, what they have up there. That was that's not it. That's from uh, hmm. Let's 
see here. I don't know. That's kind of odd. All right, guys. Uh, let me check the solar weather real quick. Um, not I'm like 99.9% .9 better uh, than what I was the past couple nights when it comes to the sickness. There was an observed M flare earlier, or actually yesterday, I should say. I can see that uh, 1.8 and 1.6. Still continued activity, or at least a threat of activity here over the next, uh, probably next couple days or so with the sunspot. Uh, X flare stands at a 5% chance, a 90% chance of a C flare. The geomagnetic forecast over the next three evenings uh, look pretty calm. Tonight, possibly some auroras at the higher latitudes, but dwindling activity over the next uh, couple nights. But all subject to change, right? Depending on what these sunspots want to do. If anything sparks a uh, CME, 2916, the main threat right now. Uh, this one's a little tiny, doesn't pose a super threat. All this other activity decaying and uh, heading away from us. Looking at the far side of the sun that will be turning towards us looks pretty clear at the moment. So could be entering into a, uh, a uh, less sunspot sun in the next few days. All right, guys, uh, once again, I've been, um, uh, want to announce here on the channel. I did it earlier, got, uh, quite the response from quite a few viewers on free decals. So I'm kind of doing that again, like we were earlier this year. If you haven't got one, um, last time around, now is your chance to jump in and get them. Uh, just got to send me an email at earthmastermail at gmail.com. That's my email. And, uh, I will, I, I've been replying to all of them just to let you know that I have received the email. Uh, just include your name, your address, and uh, I'll get you on the mailing uh, mailing list uh, to send out some free decals, the Earthmaster logo, uh, the YouTube logo here. Um, uh, when the stickers, when the uh, decals come in, they're pretty nice. They're weather resistant. I've had them on my car. Quite a few people had them on their uh, laptop, computer, whatever, outside in the rain, snow, the sun, uh, they don't fade. They're, uh, they're pretty nice weather resistant, uh, decals, uh, for your car. And if you want to show that off on your ride, the Earthmaster channel, then, uh, send me the info to Earthmaster mail at gmail.com and we'll put you on the mailing list. All right, guys, have a good evening. Please stay safe out there and, uh, we'll chat you guys another time.